But before, I, I, I was thinking about this the other day, and um, I don't know if you guys have any guilty pleasures. <laughs> One person. <laughs> Everyone else here is perfect and has high quality tastes and everything. <laughs> Um, but mine is, I, I totally love to crank the oldies or the like classic rock and go like on a really nice drive. And um, there are some songs, you know, some of them are great, like The Rolling Stones, which are always great. There we go, one, one more response. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Apparently, <laughs> it would be really funny if I found out later everyone here did watch American Idol and did. <laughs> you told us we should die, that's why we left. Um, uh, but anyways, um, so uh, do you have like a song that is, you know, it's corny. Like if people knew you liked it, they might not invite you to parties and stuff. <laughs> so one of them is um, Saturday in the Park by Chicago. Anyone, anyone? <laughs> Do you guys know the song? How many people know the song? <laughs> Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. And then, but then it goes, then it goes, people dancing, people laughing. And I was talking to some friends about it, and I was like, I think that song was obviously a co-write, because one guy was like, yeah, let's get the groove on, you know? And then the other dude, like, just dropped acid, and was like, it's ice cream! I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, so that's what we think. And then I was talking with a few friends, and one girl, one, said, you know, I always thought there was something a little bit weird about that song, because he says he thinks it was the 4th of July. <laughs> like, wouldn't you know it was the 4th of July because there's like explosives? <laughs> That's a really, really good point. And uh, then later in the song he says, every day is the 4th of July. Which means that someone is seeing things apparently. <laughs> But anyways, so yeah, that's that's my jam. Dun, 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 dun. So now, from now on, whenever it comes on the radio, you have to crank it up. <laughs> Until it gets that one weird part. Um, I don't like that part. It's all major seventy and strange. All right. Okay, so that was my Chicago story. And there's another one. <laughs> it's not Chicago, but it's the Doobie Brothers. Any Doobie Brothers here? <laughs> I swear to God, I have good taste in music. <laughs> and, um, do you guys know Robert Gomez at all? Mm -hmm. Really wonderful musician, very talented musician. And so I, I, I texted him and I was like, uh, corny songs that you really like, please think and be ready to discuss. And when I arrived, he was like, I don't think about corny music. <laughs> and then I said, there's this Doobie Brothers song. Wait, I forget how it goes. It's a he had a place in it. Dun 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 dun. You guys know what song it is? He had a place in his life. Wouldn't it be called my whole set? What's me doing? Really, we are not bringing her back. She just got up and sang Doobie Brothers tunes, and she didn't even. Um, anyways, Robert's face was deadpan. He was like, no, that song's not funny. It's a total jam, and you should not feel guilty. <laughs> so, so, yeah. And then I looked them all up on YouTube. <laughs> Why sit and cry when the world is right outside? Sure, 
make sense to me, a man selling ice cream. <laughs> Why wake at all when I only wake to sleep? It's just what I do. do, 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 do. Thank mm -hmm. you.